Hey there, Facebook. It is Vanessa here again, your speaker, trainer, and coach from Live, Love, Give. And today I have got a message coming to you where I want to share in a big chunk of my personal story. I'm not sure I've really shared much of what I'm going to share with you guys today. I know I, I, know I share a hell of a lot, um, everything in my personal life, um, but this is something I'm not too sure I've actually dived into with you guys. So I'm really excited about taking you down this path and uh, really talking to you guys about the fact that addictive uh, behavior or addiction is not a disease, you know, it's not something to be victimized about, it's actually a strategy. And I really hope that what I'm going to share with you guys today is going to help to empower you in those different and get clarity over what those different kind of behaviors that you feel kind of out of control with. Um, you feel like you've got some sort of addictive behavior and you can't break the pattern. I'm really hoping that me sharing my story with you and how I've overcome a huge thing in my life um, that was very disempowering. And I'm hoping that me sharing that with you guys will get you thinking about maybe where in your life you've got some form of addiction, whether it be in overeating or alcohol or drugs or procrastination or negative thinking or porn, whatever it is. I speak to so many of you guys from across the globe who battle with different things that you feel completely out of control with. And that's why I want to share today's message with you. And I want to get you thinking about how the fact is that every single one of us, every single human being would not lift a finger to do anything that they haven't first perceived that there will be more advantages over disadvantages in engaging in that kind of behavior. No matter how unhealthy it looks, no matter how the person doing it um, knows how unhealthy it is, you know, it's the reason why we can have a bunch of knowledge and still do the wrong things because we're actually in our subconscious, whether we know it consciously or not, we've gathered a bunch of advantages that we think we'll get by engaging in that behavior and they're outweighing the disadvantages that we're aware of. All right. So let me share in a piece of my story. But before I do, I just want to say hi to Sam, who's always here. And Brian, I love you guys. And Steven's here too. My, my, you know, everyday guys, I absolutely love seeing you guys here. If you're just joining, let me know where you're watching from in the world. I always get super excited about where you guys are from and where you're joining me from. So let me dive into a piece of my story. So uh, back, back a few years ago, um, when I was a uni student, before I developed, you know, do, before I knew anything about personal development or even this world existed, my version of developing yourself was you go to uni and you get another degree. And at the time, I was going back to uni and getting a law degree. And what was happening, um, I started engaging in this kind of behavior. It was overeating and particularly overeating on like chocolate or just like unhealthy food, right? So it was sweets for me. And so what I was finding was I was finding that I was just constantly feeling out of control in this behavior that I knew wasn't good for me and I knew was going against my health goals. So I was constantly battling this feeling of just like, oh, craving something sweet and something bad, quote unquote, bad for me. And then battling like my, um, you know, my higher self saying, what the hell are you doing? Like you're trying to be healthy and look after yourself and all of these things. So why are you, why are you engaging in this kind of behavior? And I felt literally out of control from it. Like I felt like um, you know, I just couldn't get a handle on it. I knew it was bad for me, but I just kept doing it. And while I was doing it, it ended up feeling like a punishment to myself because I was consciously aware of how bad it was for me, yet I couldn't stop myself from doing it. And I felt really like a victim of my own addictive behaviors. And I had no idea why I couldn't control this. Uh, and I'd say one thing, but I'd do another. And I just felt completely out of control. Anyway, time went on and it got to a point where I was just like, you know what? Literally the pain of staying the same 
was starting to outweigh the pain of making a change, getting some more self-awareness and actually going on a journey of uncovering why I was doing what I was doing. So it got me on this path of just thinking about like, why is it that I say I want to stop doing this, but I can't help myself. And I, I started to try and think, okay, well, what's triggering that behavior? What what happens when it like makes me go and do that thing? And I was able to trace it back to times when I'd be studying, I'd be sitting at my desk, and I would just get kind of caught up in, um, you know, uh, like some tiny little challenge would would come up, and I'd be in this studying, and I'd be like, oh can't handle it. I'd, drop, I'd step away from my desk and I'd go to the fridge or the kitchen and I'd just be trying to look for something enjoyable at the time. And it even got to the point where I'd, be, I'd literally be standing around in the kitchen or rummaging around in the kitchen trying to find something. And if there was nothing there, I would literally get in the car and drive to the supermarket and cruise around the aisles and kind of just look at the chocolate. And I'd be in this kind of battle within myself that would be like, what are you doing here? Like you, you've got so much to do. What the hell are you doing in the supermarket? And, um, and why are you going to eat that crap? Because that's going against, you know, the nutrition that you've been trying to feed your body with, nourish yourself, exercise, look after yourself. What the hell are you doing? And I'd be in this constant battle where sometimes I'd just, most of the time I'd go to the supermarket, I'd waste all this time and I wouldn't buy anything anyway. Um, and then I'd just head home. And I was like, that is insane to the conscious mind. But what I started to realize was, well, what am I getting from that? What is the payoff in engaging in that kind of behavior and, you know, not you know, not, um, not actually getting anything, just wasting all this time. And what I was able to pinpoint and see was that I was getting some much needed distraction time from the stuff that I was studying that was totally not authentic and not aligned with me. I was absolutely living a life I felt was expected of me and I'd never really gotten clear on what, what would be inspiring to me, what my highest values were. And so when I was able to pinpoint what the payoffs were, um, I was able to start, that's when I actually started going on a journey of self-discovery and breaking free of a life I felt was expected of me. You guys have most likely heard me talk into that story of um, discovering self-development, getting myself to a couple of Tony Robbins events and really immersing myself in self-discovery and, and working out why I was doing what I was doing and quitting that. So it wasn't a quick process, but the, the point is, is that all of these kind of addictive behaviors that we get ourselves caught up in, they absolutely have payoffs to your subconscious. And they absolutely, if you work out what's the payoff here, because you wouldn't be doing it unless you were perceiving there to be more advantages and disadvantages in engaging in that addictive behavior. And once we can pinpoint why we do what we do, what are the payoffs, we can start to uncover, well, what are some more healthy, resourceful ways that I could be proud of myself for, for getting the same payoff? Um, you know, for you know, for whatever we're trying to distract ourselves from, wake ourselves up to, it's a kind of an alert to wake us up. Hey, you know, wake up, you're on the wrong path here. You're doing things, you're not, you're not really getting clear here. You're not living in alignment, whatever it is, they're there to wake us up. And once we can uncover what triggers us, we can get clarity, self-awareness, and we can start to uncover new ways of meeting those same payoffs in more, much more conscious, healthy, um, designed ways rather than defaulting into these distractive, um, unhealthy tendencies that we can get caught up in. So I'm really, really hoping that this can kind of just get you thinking about whatever you think you're out of control with, whatever behavior it is, maybe procrastination, um, you know, whatever. That's a big one that you guys struggle with. I hear all the time. Um, it's really an alert mechanism to wake you up to you not living in alignment with your truth and your authenticity, and you've got to do something about it. And it's also alerting you to the fact that you may consciously think you want to stop that behavior, but unconsciously you're picking up all these different payoffs that you're getting through continuously continuing to engage in that behavior. So I am 
absolutely hoping that this is that starting point for you to take ownership of what you think you are really disempowered with in whatever that behavior is and start to work out use it as a cool strategy to get further levels and deeper levels of self-awareness so that you can empower yourself to choose better options that you're going that are actually going to empower you in multiple different areas rather than just having these unconscious payoffs that take away from what is really going to move you forward into an empowered state of being and as your highest self so really hope that this message is of value to you guys if it is i would so appreciate you guys sharing this message i've just shifted everything over to this page and off my personal profile so a bunch of you aren't getting notifications about my Facebook Lives and I so want that to change so I can see you guys joining me live and get a ton of value from these messages. So um, I would so appreciate, it really helps me move the needle in what I do to spread that word out. So if it's been of value, I would really appreciate you sharing either privately or on your page, just whatever is suitable for you. I would love that and be ever so grateful. And if you haven't already, please come on over and join us in the Limitless Potential Inner Circle Facebook community beautiful like minds from over 30 different countries four and a half thousand of you in there right now it's super inspiring and exciting to see you guys rocking and rolling in there engaging every single day and supporting encouraging and challenging each other to your next levels of your potential i love it you guys light me up so let me just check in Oh, um, Sam, love that. Addictive behaviors got payoff in the subconscious mind. Absolutely. And these payoffs wake us up. Now I make connections with my behaviors. That's awesome, Sam. Absolutely. You know, it's, um, what is it? It's only, uh, oh, I think it's, only 4% is your conscious mind's capacity. Um, the other 96% is unconscious. It's in your subconscious. So we need to realize that when we're saying that we want to do something or stop doing something, but we feel out of control with it, your subconscious is out of alignment with your consciousness and your subconscious is always going to win. It's 96% capacity rather than the 4% of your conscious mind. It's always going to outbattle it and win. So the best strategy is to bring consciousness to those unconscious patterns so that we can empower ourselves to make healthy changes. And, um, Sam, yes, exactly. What's underneath the subconscious payoffs? We have to get clear on that. There's always a payoff. So what is it? You know, we have to get clear on what that is. And when we can get clear on what that real payoff is that we've identified in our subconscious, we then need to find better strategies with our conscious mind. How else could I meet that same payoff? Could I get that same payoff through a different behavior? What's another healthier um, behavior that I could substitute that one for? And um, there's a whole process for that. If you guys are interested, hit me up. But um, don't, you know, I don't want to go too in depth here. Just hoping that this sparks your interest and um, gets you definitely empowered in thinking about how you want to change and shift things. So as always, guys, I'm sending you all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you, to wherever you are in the world today. I hope it's beautiful, amazing, and extraordinary. And I hope you're doing something seriously empowering and fulfilling. And um, I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. Thank you, Sam. I always appreciate you. You're here every single day without fail, no matter what time. You are super appreciated. Sending you guys all of my love, and I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. Please make sure that you um, definitely like this page, um, my Vanessa Jane Patrick Live Love Give page. Definitely make sure your notifications on because I do these Facebook Lives every single day and I definitely don't want you guys to miss out. Sending you guys all of my love. Cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow.